From clutches to crutches, what in the world is she talking about now? How does one go from clutches to crutches? I tell you, for me it was very easy, not advisable, but very easy. I felt as if I was constantly at gym, but the thing is I was at work, rushing from one meeting to another, from one building to another, from one meeting 20 kilometers away to another 10 kilometers from there. I took the stairs because it was faster. It was crazy and yet I found it fulfilling. I did it for years, it became a pattern and that is how I defined who I was. Hi, it's Danira here and I would like to share with you how I literally went from clutches to crutches. I was clutching onto familiarity, comfort zone mentality. I believe that comfort zone mentality is when you experience uncomfortable feelings with the situation, but you still proceed because it is something you know well, that you are comfortable with. I was clutching onto each breath as if there was a shortage of air. My stress level, anxiousness and adrenaline were all in the red danger zone, sounding alarm bells. I realized that if I didn't get that rush, I felt that I wasn't being productive and that something was wrong because that was not normal. Yes, that is what happened and yes, I was addicted to an adrenaline rush and I believed I was wasting time if I wasn't busy doing something or the other. It was as if I was clutching onto dear life. I was exhausted. I remember I was so exhausted. It showed up in my physical appearance, the doctor's bills, and strangely enough, the dentist's bills. My health was good, but it was taking strain. Flu visited me more often than sleep. Passing out on the couch at family visits became a norm. Feeling overwhelmed was a normal occurrence. I felt that work consumed 90% of the breaths I took and the rest of my life managed to squeeze into the 10% remainder. Yep, that's a pretty accurate description of my days in the corporate world. I felt that I had a job to fulfill, I had a role to play, I had labels to live up to. I noticed that I couldn't say no, so more and more work was added. I was multitasking all the time to ensure I delivered what was expected. The thing with all of this is that it might look incredible and super woman -ish, but to be honest, I wasn't feeling excited, challenged, or even like super woman anymore. It was as if I was showing up, but not really showing up at all. I kept going because it was familiar territory, but the exhaustion, overwhelm, and frustration with the systems at hand was starting to form a dark grey cloud. I was barely clutching onto anything really and it suddenly dawned on me nothing was going to change unless I had changed. I wanted it to change. And then came the moment I almost passed out with excruciating pain as I collapsed on the floor and could not get up no matter what I tried. And in that moment I realised that I wasn't invincible I wasn't superwoman and I was in a lot of trouble. I was a human after all and it hurt like hell. As they carried me off the mat, I wondered how on earth did I get to this point? How could I let this happen to me? How could I make myself feel so vulnerable? So what happened was that I was in, involved in, a, in many activities that fell into the 10% remainder of my breaths. And one of it, which always made my heart dance, was martial arts. I enjoyed that so much. Even though I was so busy, I entered into a competition. It was a women's mixed martial arts competition. I was extremely busy at work and running the home and making sure that everything gets sorted. And I knew that my fitness level wasn't that great at that time. The interesting thing was, as I reflect now, my inner guidance system was warning me the whole day, but I ignored it as usual. I remember so clearly how I battled with a deep-seated, uncomfortable feeling. But I was too busy ticking things off my to-do list that I ignored it. Because hey, I am superwoman, so I can continue. I remember having this feeling like I should walk away, and I almost did, but I didn't, and I literally did, and I came back. And my daughter was so frustrated with me that day. So the demonstration part started, I warn it. Now you can imagine. I'm superwoman going off in my head, right? 
but I could not shake this uncomfortable feeling. And I wish I knew then what I know now. Follow your guidance. Follow your inner feelings. It is your own inbuilt guidance system. Finding time came, and while the kickboxer connected with my right knee, and the result was a massive fracture. I discovered that day that kickboxers go in with intention to cause harm, where Shotokan karate people in competitions go in, make a point, and come out. So I didn't understand the opponent. I also discovered that day that when I am not well prepared and present in mind, body, and soul, and when I do not believe in myself, I will not get the result I wished for. This was the first major body injury I ever sustained. And the ego, oof, that was even injured even more. That's how I went from clutches to clutches. What on earth was I thinking? What was I trying to prove? Why didn't I follow my instinct? I was extremely fortunate that I healed completely. And I realized the power in thought and belief. I believed I would heal fully and, and walk as if nothing happened. My doctor said I was very fortunate that from such a severe fracture, I healed fully. I still strongly believe that it was a sign for me to slow down. It was only when I slowed down that I could take full breaths to breathe wholeheartedly. For the first time, I understood what was really going on. Usually I follow thought and did what my mind logically worked out for me to do. This time I realized that it's a good idea to follow my heart, my guiding personal system. Trust the process and understand that everything that happens to me serves me in some way or another. It took a huge event for me to realize that I could not keep going the way I did, that there was more to life that I was letting slip through the clutches of my fingers. There was a whole world to experience and to discover. It was in this moment that I fully understood what I wanted my next journey to be. And now I'm loving it. And I want to share the learnings so that more people can start following what they truly desire, what they truly want out of this lifetime. If you would like to discover your path, discover what really makes you happy, uncover how to follow what you desire, Remove the blocks that holds you back from living the life you wish to live. The fracture stopped me dead in my tracks. I went from 120 kilometers per hour to completely standstill. It gave me time to reflect, to renegotiate my, with myself what I really wanted in life. You don't have to do that. You don't have to have a major event happen to you to realize what I did. Or you might have had a major event happen to you already and you are wondering how to get back on your feet again. If you would like to slow down and or work out what it is that truly inspires you, or if you want to get back on track with life, with the life you wish to live, or maybe just to see what is blocking you from becoming who you wish to be, it might be a good idea to reach out to a life coach if you wish or any coach that specializes in the area you wish to upgrade, I can show you how to do that. I'm trained in this field and I have personal experience that this process I use works. I am a transformational life coach. I have seen transformation in myself and the people that I coach. We've together seen the transformation happening in a safe space, in a space which enables guidance and growth to make the necessary changes to develop self. If you would like to reach out to me, that would be great. My details will follow at the end of this video. Let's see how we together get you to your next level. Discover what you are meant to be and do in this lifetime. I can tell you from personal experience, it feels great. It feels liberating. It feels empowering. And it feels like a whole new adventure for me. I thought I'd share this with you. These are times where we have to step out of our shadow and into our light. Time to think differently, more creatively, use our resources more resourcefully, to clear our path to rise to who we are meant to be, to slow down, to figure things out. I hope that this has assisted you in some way. If this video resonated with you, please like it and share it with as many people as you can that you feel will benefit from it. 
Let's see how we can help influence change in this world by beginning with ourselves. Know that it is only when we take those bold steps to be curious to know more about ourselves that we will find the happiness and direction we seek. Lao Tzu says, he who knows others is wise. He who knows himself is enlightened. I say, feel it, love it, only you can. Have a blessed and most beautiful day. And thank you for listening and spending your precious time with me. I'm so grateful that you stayed to the end. We all have a mission on this earth. Discover it and decide what legacy would you like to leave behind? Thank you.